Let me tape the audience. Nice. Turn on the phone so it's not. Yeah, come. Oh, it's more comfortable. First of all, it's more comfortable. Okay. Yeah, my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you might be an audience. Someone might come in. Wow. As long as you want to come in. Very close. That's not close. That's close. Yeah. Let me do a little change. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you? Thank you. Now, so I did my first show in, 19, in February 1998. And um, I'm not going to bore you with my stories. I told a couple of stories anyway. Um, and I hope you're not scared. It's nothing to be as scared of. Are you ready? What do you ask me? Let me ask you. Raise your hand if you've been hypnotized before. <laughs> do you like, raise your hand if you like to read books, watching movies, you drive a car, keep your hand up. So you like to read, watching movies, you drive a car, you have a parent, at least one or two. You have teachers. So everybody here, right? Teachers are one of the best images. I don't look at him, I'm just talking about in general. <laughs> but that's good. You're following my instructions very good. So, um, my goal, actually, since 98, I hope it's going to happen one day when I go to a show and there's no audience. That's my goal. But what I actually mean, whether it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, whether it's eleven people or four hundred or more, that I hypnotize anybody. So there's no audience. Because they're gonna be all of them in the show. They didn't work. I'm close to around eighty percent, and I had like eighteen people or nineteen, and most of them were hypnotized. <clears throat> anyway. So um, we turn the phones off, right? Okay. I did. I didn't need my keys. Just a few things about hypnosis. What is not hypnosis? Because if you have some myth, misconception about hypnosis, you might be reluctant to be hypnotized. If you have misconceptions about hypnosis, right? So it's good to understand what is actually hypnosis. 
No, it's very important. When we hear this say, see, it simply means you close your eyes and just go back to your favorite place. Anybody remember your favorite place? For relaxation purposes, in a few minutes, we're going to create um, God's self hypnosis exercise. So when you're going to Amen. Practically, you want to relax all of your muscle groups. Just thinking about it, or see it in your mind's eye with closed eyes. And then I'm going to tell you to imagine yourself on a 20th floor in an elevator or 20th stairs. Just 20. And in your mind's eye, slowly coming down. Be very relaxed. I'm more relaxed. 19, 18, something like this. And then we go down to one. Then you, in your mind's eye, you open a door, imagine you're a door. And then just imagine your face, it could be a bed, a river bed, a waterfall, a lake, a sunny main beach, which is kind of still cold. So that's, that's going to be your favorite place. And for self hypnosis, you make up an affirmation, one short sentence. I'm going to, what do you want to do? You can say it in a short sentence, that's my goal, which is reachable, but somehow you, you know, not working on it hard enough. And that's when you, at night when you go to bed, just before you want to go to sleep, or just when you woke up, then you realize in your muscles 20 to 1 and tell this affirmation like 15 or 20 times. 20 times. At night you go to sleep, in the morning you count 1 to 5. And you come to school or go to work. That's how simple an exercise, a relaxation exercise. So sleep simply means you close your eyes and sleep. Anyway, is it love? Yeah. The other thing, a misconception is um, what if I get a heart attack? Let's say you are going to be hypnotized, walking like zombies, like deep trance, and I die, drop dead. Anybody worried that I, you might not be able to wake up? Some, some people might worry the whole bit. What happens if he dies? He's not 20 or 30 anymore. Well, you don't have to worry because what is today? 6.15 p.m. Um, it's Tuesday. You're going to wake up around 8 p.m. on Sunday. You're going to wake up at um, 8 p.m. Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure what it is. Don't worry about it. Um, how about telling secrets? Anybody worried that you might tell a secret? Anybody has any secret? <laughs> Everybody has. That's, that's very wise. That's right. Don't worry. If any hypnotist or a therapist, whatever, asking you about your secret, lost already. You're not going to say it. We just wake up, so nothing to worry about. Okay, all right. Now, for concentration, let me see how you guys concentrate. Okay, so make a circle with your thumb and index finger, because verbal instructions are very important. People in deep trance, so deep the trance that you might not see somebody or not hear. I mean, you always hear the hypnotist, but you might not see people or you're seeing your dog walking in front of you. So we always have to need um, verbal instructions. So you're always going to hear me. So that's why these verbal instructions are very important. Okay? So just be with me. So circle, left hand, right hand, doesn't matter. Look. Very quickly, put it to your chin. 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 Your chin. Put it to your chin. Thank you. Percentage-wise, I don't want to say, it seems a very intelligent, very small group. Percentage-wise, how many found their chin right away? Because verbal instructions are important. Oh, you were watching my hand? Oh, sorry. But I said follow verbal instructions. That's very important. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> It's kind of a funny way to demonstrate that verbal instructions are important. Because people in trance, they might forget their names, or they can forget any numbers, 
why they are here, and it's hard to imagine that. Oh, come on, of course it's hard to imagine, right? How can you forget your name? What a number. Or oh, you can see the video. Oh, it could be fake. That's right, I heard this somewhere. Some people want to say, ah, oh, it's fake. I have like two dozen videos posted on YouTube. You can see one or two of them um, counting. One guy is counting, college, top university, and somehow he forgot number seven. So, anyway, it can happen. So, so, are you ready? So now I'm going to turn on the music. I bet it, hopefully it's not too loud. I'm going to adjust it. Are you ready to be hypnotized? No, that's fine. Just sit there. Don't worry. Just don't worry. You don't have to be. You can actually concentrate and put all of your energy, 100% of your energy, not to be hypnotized. Okay? Just put all of your energy into not let me hypnotize you. Okay? You agree with me? Right? 100% of your energy. Okay. Your feet flat on the floor. Right. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the shows are very safe. My shows are extremely safe. Um, the survival rate is 99.8%. So very few fatal accidents happened. Very few. So it's nothing to worry about. So you see the background music. Any question now? I, I don't answer any question, I just like to ask Q A at the end. Remember Q A at the end? Okay. Let me see. I don't want it to learn. Is it off? Red means off. Don't worry, nothing bad can happen, I'm just joking about the fatal accidents. Occasionally people fall off the chair, off the chair but it's only for those who are at the side, so don't worry. If you're not at the side, then nothing to worry about. <coughs> How all these people manage not to come tonight? Isn't it amazing? All the audience? And you know, you're actually very lucky. If there are a hundred people, you would probably not volunteer. This is a good guess, probably most of you definitely would not want to. Can you promise something? Do not let me hypnotize you. Okay. Um, at the end, I can tell you a story about it. You know, just to make sure somebody really doesn't want to be hypnotized, then please constantly put all of your energy into them. That's how some people were hypnotized. Anyway, now. I'm going to do this two minutes relaxation, and after that, two short exercises, and the third one, just to see how your imagination and concentration, because, oh, actually, I told you what are the misconceptions, those three main ones, and uh, what is hypnosis is practically concentration and imagination, relaxation and imagination. So practically, you are using your imagination and concentration. So figure about why people didn't come, or what you're going to do after you go home, doesn't matter. Just uh, understand as a free lesson or lecture with practice on relaxation. And, and don't worry, nothing bad can happen. He's here, not far, you are safe. Um, imagine you are in Las Vegas, and whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You heard one of the young people when, you know, my age, you heard before. So, just keep 100% of your energy and concentration to experience. It's nothing sensational, but I have to tell you that if you experience, if you follow my instructions, you have to experience a little relaxation or even more than that. It's up, completely up to you. I can't make you hypnotize or do things, trust me. Right. You don't have to pretend it either. 
you just have to follow the instructions and try not to think anything else, just the instructions and it can happen by itself. Okay? A bright nine-year-old can go easily into a trance. It can go easily into a trance. So a language is simple like myself. I learned English, I started to learn English when I was 34. So you can imagine. Simple language. Ready? Okay. Hands on your lap. On your own. Especially I say the joke in college. In high school, not so much. But in college, oh yeah. Your boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend. boyfriend. <coughs> um, my family never laughs whatever I say or do. They just say it as a dad, as a joke. <coughs> so, three different things, remember? So, for the relaxation, Close your eyes now. Two of them. Oh my god. You know what? Why don't you grab those two chairs and have a seat on both sides? Yeah, oh, open your eyes. Don't worry, come on. Don't you? No, no. We don't have audience today, sorry. The chairs at the back, sit at the side of the. I'm not kidding. If you honest, you're gonna ruin the party. No, no, no. no. Everybody back. Have a seat. I know. But if everybody wanna take a picture, take a picture of what? If everybody wanna take a picture of the show, what gonna be another picture? If everybody wanna take a picture and the chairs. Anyway, do you want to turn off your phone? Vibrating or just okay or or in play mode, and guess what? Nothing will happen to your phone if you put it down. Just let's put it away. I don't need you to drop it. You know, walking like a deep trance, like a zombie. I, I don't want you to break your phone. <coughs> nice. Thank you, man. Excellent. If you didn't miss anything, you're going to do a short relaxation and two exercises. Hypnosis is concentration and imagination. Whether you believe in it or not, makes no difference. If you know what I mean. Have you been hypnotized before? Is it the first time? Yeah. Excellent. Are you excited? I'm nervous. A little nervous. That's not bad. Are you curious, open minded, like everybody else? I guess. Oh, um, yeah. I would say, yeah. Just speak bravely. Yes, I am. Now, short self relaxation and then do exercise about how you relax, how you use your imagination, and how you relax. Okay? I told him already, he's going to say, Sleep! It's in the knees. You know, he does Like me, when somebody says, Sleep! It doesn't mean anything. <sighs> It doesn't mean you actually sleep. You just simply close your eyes instantly and relax. Now, I have to repeat the two other misconceptions. Are you worried that you tell secrets? Let's say I hypnotize you, or you hypnotize yourself. Do you worry that you might tell some secrets? Do you have any secrets? No? You, some people hypnotize, they, they, they worry that they might tell secrets to the hypnotist or in front of everybody else. Are you worried about that? No. <coughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you anything. Don't worry. And that's pretty much those two covers everything. Sleep means sleep. Just close your eyes and relax. And don't worry if you hypnotize for some reason. Not yet, but very soon. You just need to follow my instructions. Concentrate, use your imagination, and concentrate. Pretty much. I didn't get any come for that, but you know what? At least you experience it firsthand. So when you take your first side class, psychology class, have you taken one? Not yet. You're going to be ahead of your class. Ready? Okay, now, close your eyes down. Close your eyes down. That's right. And 
no talking. Just close your eyes now. Thank you. 